I'm 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 gaming the system. I'm I'm gauging interest. I'm gainfully employed. I'm I'm Gail Goodrich's biggest fan. I'm Gatorade's unofficial spokesperson. I'm gazing into the abyss. I'm I'm a homosexual. Sometimes I wonder why it took me 20 years to be able to say that. Then I remember I didn't learn how to ride a bike until I was eight and it starts to put things into perspective. Homosexuality wasn't always looked down upon. It was encouraged and even considered the ideal form of love between soldiers in ancient Sparta. Depending on if they could host, of course. With the advent of organized religion came claims that gay people were sinners and possessed by demons. I mean, yeah, if you're referring to all the guys I've ghosted. Today, you still see countless priests and ministers exclaiming that homosexuals are going to hell all over their grinder profiles. There are still conversion camps in operation right now. My parents were a little naive and they sent me to one because I was having trouble with fractions. I came back even more focused on holes. There are several countries that refuse to recognize gay rights. Some nations enforcing imprisonment and death. Getting stoned in Brunei really doesn't sound that cool anymore. Despite the ignorance, there's evidence of homosexuality all throughout nature. You see it in the animal kingdom, and sometimes at Epcot. There are indications of a genetic component to sexuality as well. Parents still get upset if their kid turns out gay, and it's not right. And I just want to remind those people, these are your genes. Your closeted chromosomes paired up and made this. Remember those 74 hours you spent in meiosis duplicating every part of yourself? So the next time someone says to me, oh, you have your father's eyes, I'll say yeah, and his appetite for gay sex. I am grateful that I was born when I was. If I was living in the 1950s, I definitely would have married a woman and just become a family man, having many late nights at the office. I'd get home and she'd be like, Steven, where have you been? You missed Sally's recital. Dinner is cold and I've been worried sick about the Soviets. Yeah, I'm gonna go sit on my Joe DiMaggio slugger. Peace. My soul chose to experience life through this perspective. I know I chose to be gay is not a popular sentiment in the community, but I do believe we have set up the blueprint of our physical lives in ways that will foster growth. Baby, I was born this way as a result of my soul's conscious choice. Gay people represent the dichotomy within and can serve to bridge the gap between genders, blending masculine and feminine energies holistically. I've always known this to be true as I am a man, but also a huge pussy. Society has resisted this blending of energy for thousands of years, and just like the San Diego Zoo's Arctic exhibit, we have been denying the polarity within. I'm here to help people relax their prejudices. I've been called a fruit, a flamer, a faggot, and that's just by my mom on an off night. Our world is suffering from toxic masculinity. You got grown men calling each other butt pirates on Xbox Live right after they secretly tweezed their eyebrows. As men, we have an erogenous zone near the prostate, but society has largely stigmatized exploration of that area, labeling it gay. I inadvertently discovered it at a colonoscopy. When I spoke to my insurance next day, it turns out I was actually at the optometrist said he was checking for a glaucoma. Regardless, men were created with this pleasure center to be accessed and enjoyed. I don't want any of you to forget that. 310-468-31. Spirit is neither male or female. The soul is designed to experience facets of both genders in both bathrooms to maximize the expansion of our being. I used to hate the fact that I was gay and think that I was just dealt a bad hand in life. But now I know that even with the adversity and the challenges, I have great hands. And I feel lucky to be my editors from Brunei.